Now to our local weather, which has improved significantly today. We are, however, still dealing with some serious flooding in some areas. That's right. CBS Force Mike Cunho has details on the damage folks are dealing with right now. All that rainfall that came down last night in Miami-Dade, specifically Doral, where we're at, well, it's still sitting here. This is 79th Avenue. You could see cars having trouble coming down this street. Cars still stranded in parking lots with all this rainwater going right up to the doorstep of some businesses. Cars across parts of Dade and Broward look more like boats splashing through streets still flooded by Tuesday's batch of storms. Here in Miami, first time I'm seeing this. I've never seen nothing like this. Tow truck driver Daniel Salguero from Monster Auto Recovery says the last 24 hours have been incredibly busy saving stranded cars in Doral. I say about 40 to 50 cars, 60. Yeah. It's lost count. There's many, many, many cars. Many cars like Valentina's are airing out with owners trying to salvage as much as they can. And the back seat, it looks, it looks like it got wet yes. inside. Yes, it's, it's, it got wet. We are just finished to, to clean it. She left her car in a parking lot overnight, then pushed it to higher ground. Much of that water is still there with other cars still trapped in parking lots. In Northwest Miami-Dade, some folks are trapped in their homes with the water. Others are out in the streets wondering when the sewer systems will catch up. I see people walking around. American Cross is on the other side, literally. Uh, they can't go through, so they have to just get out their car and walk through the water. Now a little bit of good news for the folks here in Doral. Miami-Dade County workers are beginning to pump out the water here on 79th Avenue, which is coming just in the nick of time because at the moment there are some rain clouds in the area. In Doral, Mike Cunho, CBS4 News.